So it's the 1st of February and all the works have now finished but the lock gates are not yet operational. That won't be till the middle of the month. But the lock is now full again, so I think it's probably just waiting inspections. Uh, the outer gates. So looking forward to when we can get back out. Right, this morning we're uh, going to try and uh, first of all update the firmware for the ActiSense and then. Um, See if we can troubleshoot if we've still got a problem. Here we've got the ActiSense uh, as it currently is. Uh, the NMEA0183 is to the left, and the NMEA2000 is to the right. And you can see that the 2000 side is flashing, but we're not getting anything at all on the uh, 183 side. And there's the Matsuteki unit that's switched on, so that is transmitting and receiving. But still nothing coming through on the ActiSense. So we've just uh, wired in our serial line, and this will now go into the computer. Um, so I'll plug that into the laptop, um, and then we'll start the firmware up upgrade. I think. So I've just checked in Device Manager and the USB to serial COM port is there on COM5. So on the ActiSense patch we'll select COM5. There we are. Uh -huh. So progress is going through. And that is active. I'm assuming that is now just saying connected. So we're now reconnected back to the uh, system. Um, I've just got to re plug in the network to power everything up again. So I'm just powering up the Axiom. That takes a little bit to come to life. And we'll power up the Mazatec. So we're just looking at the network on the Axiom and we can see there that we've got the Axiom itself, we've got the CTOR converter and we've got the NG1. And that's the text all powered up. But we've still not got anything on the ActiSense. So a bit of an update. After uh, a lot of testing, um, I can get outputs through the ActiSense unit from the Raymarine but I cannot get outputs through the ActiSense from the Matsatec. Uh, the Matsatec when I do a voltage test is putting out variable voltages up to 2.6 volts on the transmission um, but I 
can't get any readings uh, through the ActiSense reader. So, further investigation required, but it looks like an issue on the Matsutech, not with the ActiSense. Uh, so that's uh, a little bit back to the drawing board on the wiring and on the plug and we'll see what we can do from there. So this, unfortunately this uh, has not ended yet. Uh, I won't be defeated, I will find a way but, we'll get, uh, but at the moment uh, it's back to the drawing board a little bit.